here to inform you right now, the UConn winning streak is at zero. 998 days since they'd lost a game. I had hair, not a lot of it, but maybe <laughs> some. The Ooh. last time they lost a basketball game, that's the fun thing about coming to work here. You never know when you're going to show up on a day when history is made. You just saw it made. Let's get right back to it. Number one, UConn. Number eight, Stanford. Last time they played, don't forget, Stanford had the Huskies on the break at the half, but the Huskies came roaring back to win it in convincing fashion, 53-47. to Stanford head coach Kara Vandeveer using that loss as a chance to motivate her team in Maples tonight. Our team, I think, has worked um, extra hard to say, you know, that was painful, that was disappointing. This is a new year, this is a new, new team, but um, we want another chance. I can't. Stanford comes roaring out of the gates. It's 12 to 4, Lindy LaRock, all three of these, and Stanford's up 11. Later in the half, the Cardinal up 10. LaRock again. Got to get a hand in the shooter's face. Bottoms, and it's 20 to 7. Maya Moore, the finest player in the land in the ladies' game, struggled a bit in the first half. Air balls the three. Then in transition, a little hesitation. She normally buries that. That one misses its mark. Another jumper for Moore. No, she had six in the first half. UConn trying to get back in this one. Bria Hartley will grab the loose ball. Looks like you've got a kick ahead, but instead a smart play to just take it herself, and UConn's within five. Under five and a half to go in the half. Stanford's up nine. Chenia Ogumuke, she had herself a ball game. Down on the block, a high bank off glass. An 11-point lead for the Cardinal to the second half. Jeanette Poland was the story of this one. A career high. 31 catches in rhythm. That's three right there. The Cardinal up nine. Maya Moore trying to put this team on it. Her back. She buries the three. UConn's down eight. Five to go. Cardinal up seven. The Rock. Kayla Peterson. Nice entry pass down low and a clever little flip. Go oh, backhand flipsy, Johnny. You yes, never know sir. when you'll see it. It's a nine point lead. Maya Moore with the, the con down just six. Good look. No. And off the rebound, whoa, outlet! Agumake with the lay-in. And it's an eight-point lead, and now late. Down low, it's Agumake again. There she is. And in Maples, it's a big win, and Jimmy Dykes is live in Maples. With Kayla Peterson, the senior leader for Stanford. And Kayla, first of all, put into words right now how you feel after taking down the powerhouse. Extremely elated right now. I don't know, just very excited. You know, I'm so proud of my team right now. We executed everything just how we were supposed to, you know, took away UConn's um, tendencies, and I mean, I'm just so happy right now. You told me earlier today, I asked you point blank, eye to eye, do you really believe you can beat UConn? You said yes, and you gave me reasons. What made you feel that way? I mean, I just, I have the most confidence in my team and my coaches ever. You know, coming off the, the Xavier win, we just had all the momentum coming into this. We knew our scouting report, and we knew what we had to do, and we executed it. So if we did all that stuff, I knew that we would win. For nine months, you've had to stew and simmer and kind of marinate the loss to UConn in the national championship ball game. How did that motivate you tonight? Oh, it provided a lot of motivation. You know, a lot of teams are sick of losing to UConn, so of course that kind of kicks you in the butt right there. But I mean, any team like this, like we just wanted to come out and play our game. Kayla, congratulations on the win. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you.